Hello, good evening. Good evening, class. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, a little bit tired, but I'm fine. You're a little bit tired, but you're fine. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I understand completely. I'm a little bit tired as well, but I'm fine. Yeah, well, thank you for connecting, even though I know you're tired. So thank you very much for that. All right. Uh, hello, Nelson. Hello. How are you? I am fine, thank you, and you? Pretty good, not bad at all. Okay. Yeah, it's good to see you. Hold on, I'm going to change my background because I look like, like um, I look all washed out. I think this is a little better. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, all right, welcome, hello. Welcome to everybody that is connecting. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Pretty good? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, how are you? Very good, thank you. Yeah? Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, okay. Welcome, um, Suleyma, welcome. Hello, Suleyma, can you hear me? No, not really? Okay. All right, well, um, it's good to see everybody. Um, well, I'm gonna do what um, I have to do, which is um, take our attendance, okay? So we'll start with that so we don't get behind. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay. So, do I have Cristina? Is Cristina here? No? Okay. All right. What about um, Annie? Is Annie here? No? No, Annie? Okay. What about Mari? Is Mari here? No. Okay. What about Carolina? Carolina? Is Carolina here? No, Carolina. Okay. Um, is um, Christy here? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Christy. Thank you. Uh, are you able to turn on your camera? In this moment, no, teacher. You can't turn it on this moment, but you will turn it on in a moment? Yeah. Okay, all right, thank you. All right, Jorge. Some teacher. Okay, welcome, Jorge. Thank you, teacher. Is Karen here? Karen? Okay, what about Karina? Is Karina here? No, Karina's not here. Leonardo? Present, teacher. Okay, welcome, Leonardo. Is Linda here? <coughs> Linda? No? 
What about Marlene? Present. Hello, Marlene. Welcome. Thank you for connecting. And Miguel, is Miguel here? Present. Present. Welcome, Miguel. Is Nelson here? Present, Nelson. Miss. Okay, good. Welcome, Nelson. And Nelson A. I think Nelson A is not here. No, I don't see him. Okay, what about Norma? Present teacher. Okay, welcome Norma. Okay. And Olga? Present teacher. Welcome Olga. Present. All right, welcome Omar. You feeling better? Yes. Okay, good, I'm glad to hear that. Suleyma Rodriguez? Suleyma Rodriguez. Okay, Suleyma Melgar. Suleyma Melgar. And Tatiana. Present. Welcome, Tatiana. Okay, Tatiana. I'm just going to review the people that I didn't hear. So just to make sure that I didn't miss anybody. Cristina. Ani, Mari, Carolina, Karen, Linda, Nelson A, Suleima Rodriguez, and Suleima Melgar. ¿Quién dijo present? Suleima Rodriguez. Ah, okay, okay. Solo que voy conduciendo, entonces solo voy a estar oyendo. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. All right, welcome. Okay, great. So I have the people that are supposed to be here. Okay. All right. Um, so guys, um, thank you for connecting on time. Um, so I'm going to start sharing my PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint or you're having trouble seeing it or when better said when you can see it. Okay, can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so today we're, we're gonna be looking at product testing vocabulary. Okay, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. It's the intermediate two and it's class number 12. Basically, we're like almost halfway through the class, almost. So it's amazing. Okay, so first thing, we're gonna be looking at this article about the 10 best practices to improve your concept and product and product tests. Okay. Um, I am going to first, um, I'm going to be asking you guys to, so, sorry, can you, you can see it, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. De, por alguna razón no los veo ustedes. <laughs> Let me see if I can find you guys. Okay. Mm. Ah, okay. Um, Ah, okay. Okay, I see. I see. I los veo. Okay, good. So, um, so we're going to be reading this article together. And this article, like I said, is called uh, 10 Best Practices to Improve Your Concept and Product to Test. So, um, I am going to ask, um, I'm actually going to do it just, a, you know, in random order, I'm gonna ask different people to help me read um, the information about like the main message, attitudes and beliefs, purchase intention, competitive purposes, um, and then the next information there, um, and then the features, okay? So how about if, um, Leonardo, can you help me with the main message? Uh, the meaning. The first one, main messages. Okay, main message that customers take away from a concept, including to the 
functional and emotional benefits conveyed. 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 Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to have a concept and product test, we need to understand, we, we need to understand that the customer needs to understand the concept, the function, and even the emotional beliefs behind the product or the service. Okay. All right, next, um, how about if we have it? Nelson G, help me please with attitudes and beliefs. Hello. Uh, how valuable, memorably, or interesting the concept or the product is. Thank you. Okay, good. So it's important to um, under, to think about these questions. Like, is it is the product believable? Right? Is the product memorable? So are people going to remember the product or is it just going to be something that is like, um, you know, just like the, the rest of the things there. So nothing special. How interesting is the concept? Okay, so ask yourself those questions whenever you're, you're doing the product test. Okay, is it believable? Is it memorable? Is it interesting? Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's have uh, Norma. Please, Norma, could you help me out with the, the uh, purchase intentions? So, my teacher, se comparo. It Just purchase intentions. Okay. The light, light, how? Like, like, like. Oh. Likely, likelihood. Likelihood of purchasing the product or service. Thank you. So likelihood means how possible, what is the probability that the customer is going to purchase or, or buy the product or service. That's something that you also have to uh, take in consideration when you're doing the product testing and the concept. Okay, thank you very much. All right, next let's have um, Suley, uh, no, sorry. Um, Omar, Omar, can you help me with the next one? Competitive preferences? Sorry, Miss, is competitive preferences. Yeah, preferences. Preferences. Competitive preferences. Mm -hmm. Competitive preference. How consumer perceive, perceive, perceive the concept of perceive the concept of or product a lie to competitor. Competitors. Competitor. Mm -hmm. Better or horse or price, quality, and other attributes. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very good. So that's something else you have to think about. Um, you have to look at the competitors, right? Is your consumer thinking about the price? Is they are they um, are they able to compare and say, ah, oh, this one's cheaper. This one is uh, more expensive, but it's better you know, or this is like almost the same price as the other ones, right? Okay. Okay. Um, or look at the quality too, right? Oh, this is better quality. Yes, it's more expensive, but it's better quality. It's going to last for a long time, right? Or other different attributes, right? Anything else um, that could be, like maybe the color, the color, mm -hmm. they're, they're more options of colors, right? Uh, maybe the colors are more vibrant, you know, yeah. different attributes, right? Or it's bigger or smaller, whatever, right? 
Okay, but the idea, the idea is that you have to consider your competitors. Okay. Okay. Okay, next. Let's see who I can ask. Linda, please help me with um uh, the the next one we have implemented. Okay. We have implement implemented numeral numerals. Concept and product test. What? Numerous. Numerous concept and product test to help clients study issues such as issues such as the following concept for the menu of a CFO restaurant chain. Okay, very good. Continue. Uh, no, that's fine. Ah, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, so we need to um, look at um, the issues that could arise, could happen with the product testing. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we have to think ahead of, of ourselves. Okay. All right. And the last one, I would like somebody to read everything else that fits over here. And I'll, I'll take a volunteer for this one. Who would like to help me with this one? Somebody who, who has not participated just yet. Mm -hmm. Me teacher. Okay, great. Go for it, Olga. Feature of an insurance product under consideration a new financial service under development, frozen food products under development, a new food item under consideration for sale to food server operators, retail formats in early stage rollout. Rollouts, mm -hmm. very good. Okay, excellent. All right, so those are some um, things that you have to consider, right? Uh, for insured insurance product. Um, so thinking about being um, something that is underdeveloped, okay? Um, yeah, uh, you have to also think about um, a, new, a new item, like a new food that is under consideration uh, for sale. Um, for the food operators, right? So you have to think about um, how, um, a, like, in what stage of the process is the, the service or the product in, right? Okay. And finally, retail formats in early stage rollout. Um, so thinking about retail, what was retail? Can somebody help me with that word, retail? What is that? I have no idea, teacher. No idea? No. Any other, anybody have an idea? No? Nobody? How about if you look it up? So you can look it up, dictionary or internet, Google it, whatever you want. Como venta por menor, algo así. Yeah, uh, re yeah, exactly. So these are, uh, basically retail is like somebody that is going to sell something for you. Uh, but they are not the they're not the, the the manufacturer okay they just and it could be it could be retail like in small quantity or it can be in big quantities too but the important thing about retail is that it's not the person that manufactures the product they are just the ones that sell you the product. Does that make sense? 
to, to give an example, Super Selectos is a retail. Um, they can sell you in big quantities or small, but they're retail because they are not the ones that produce things. For example, let's say the vegetables. Super Selectos doesn't have their own garden. And, and, and cultivates the, 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 the vegetables. No, they buy it from other people. And they then they buy it from other people and then they sell it to you. That's a retail. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Like Reventa, maybe. Uh-huh, yeah, kind of, yeah. And like I said, it could be, uh, it could be uh, big quantities or small, yeah? So retail formats and early stage rollout. So um, starting to thinking about the, the how we're going to, or who we're going to be selling to, right? Um, if it's a product, um, you know, are we going to sell it directly? Are they gonna get it directly from our, our business or are we gonna sell it to someone and they're gonna resell it somewhere else, right? Okay. It's a small seller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, although not necessarily a small seller because like I said, for example, Super Selectus is not a small seller, right? Um, but just me, it just a retailer in itself is just simply somebody that sells something but that they don't produce it. Okay. 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 So I could be a retail, uh, a retailer. I could be like, if I, if I go, you know, to, I don't know. I'm thinking, I, I'm going to go, for example, to, what do you call that? It's a maido. Uh, Charamusca say no. I... Okay, okay. Bah, let's say uh -huh. I have a friend. I have what a friend that makes charamuscas. Okay. Uh -huh. So I buy charamuscas from her because I have a, a a store in my house. Okay, I have a store in my house, and so people come to buy to my store, and so I sell her charamuscas. Yeah, I didn't make the charamuscas, it's my friend that made the charamuscas, but I buy it from her and then I sell it to somebody else. Okay. Okay? Yes. Good, let's talk about voc other vocabulary here. I'd like you guys to write in the chat any other vocabulary that you're not familiar with. Only one. Sometimes it's just going to have to give me a little bit of time while I find the words and I can't find it. Where's issues? Issues. Yeah, I can't find it. Issues is like stuff. Oh, I found it. It is, uh, we have implemented. And issues, sorry. Anything else? That's it. Really? Wow. 
I'm impressed. Okay. All right. Emotional benefits conveyed. Convey to convey is to um, make other people perceive. Okay. So it's like saying the emotional benefits perceived by other people, but but it's not that it's it's the opposite of perceived because perceived is what the other person thinks and conveyed is what I show that people perceive. Does that make sense? Or did I just I did I just uh, it's people who try to, to buy the, the product. No, 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 no. It's a verb. Come, okay, so, um, it's, yeah, it's a verb, okay? So it, it's it's an action. And you you understand the word perceive, right? Perceive? Yes. I'll write it in the chat. Sorry, I'll write it in the, right, right here. Perceive. But it's the opposite. Exactly. It's the opposite because, give me a moment. Convince, no. Yeah. It doesn't exist. Just give me a moment. Oh, just give me a moment. <laughs> ah. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. Um, so it's the opposite of perceive in the sense that perceive is what somebody receives, right? I perceive things because I receive the information. And conveyed is the opposite. It's giving the information, right? So it's not receiving but giving okay that's why i mean it's the opposite okay so conveyed how would you say that in spanish convencer no no transportar no transmitir huh transmitir transportada transmitir okay so Yo percibo porque alguien me transmite algo. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. And issues is another word for problems. Okay. Cuestiones, teacher. Questions. Yeah, but it's it's more like has to do with like the idea of having problems. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Great. Any questions so far? Okay. All right. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next part. For the next part, we have these transitions. Do you guys remember that you asked me if uh, those were the only transition words? Like we looked at moreover, in addition. What was the other one? Furthermore, que otro? Or in addition, besides, besides, let me say besides. Okay. Anyways, uh, you guys asked me, are those the only four? And I said, no, those are not the only four. Uh, there are many, 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 many more. And these are some of the additional transition words um, to add important information to the topic discussed. Okay. That's the important part here. It's that we're adding information. Okay. Oops. Add important information. Okay. 
So these words add important information. They add, they don't take away, they're not contrasting, they're adding, okay? The words are additionally or an additional, furthermore, also, to, as well as that, along with, besides, in addition, moreover, not only, but also, I'm going to talk about this in a moment because there's something special about this, this idea, this one here, right here. In addition to this, apart from this, further, finally, last, and similarly, as well as coupled with, not to mention, together with, in the same fashion, first, second, third. Okay. Now, those are some of the transition words. Remember that you, if you're going to put them at the beginning of a word, you have to make sure that you have to make sure that you always have the comma. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we have an addition or, adi or an addition and then comma. Moreover, comma. Also, comma, two, comma, so on, so on, okay? But I wanted to mention something important. Sometimes it's possible to put um, the, the additional, the transi transition at the, big, as or at the end of a sentence. In that case, you, if you put it at the end, you would put the comma before it, okay? So, um, for example, um, not all of them, right? You can't, can't do this with all of them. Um, but we can say, for example, um, Oh, let's use it with also. Okay, so if also is going to be at the beginning, you're going to use the also comma. But if also is going to be used at the at the end, we're going to change the comma and put it before. So it's going to look like it's going to look like this. So we have da da da. Da, 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 right and then we say also okay so da, 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 comma also not all of them but so, uh, because um, some of them they don't make sense if they go at the end but if you're going to put it at the end you have to put the comma before it and then after that you would put the period right because we finished the sentence does that make sense yes teacher Yes? No, teach. No? No clear. Oh, no clear. Okay, so it's like this. I'll, I'll write a sentence. And thank you for telling me that it's not clear because there's no point in me continuing if it's not clear. Okay. Um, also. Um, my grandmother is half German. Okay. Let's say we can, we can say this. So also comma, my grandmother is half German. So if you notice, we have here also, and then the comma. All right. Now we can also say, another way we can do this is say, my 
my grandmother is half German also. Does that make sense? So there in the case, the comma would be before, right? And then we fo it's followed by a period. Does that make sense now? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. And I told you that I was going to talk to you a little bit about this word right here, which is also very special. Not only, but also. This one is uh, very um, special. It's like, it, this one is like in Spanish when you say, no solo, da da da, pero también, da da da, right? For example, um, uh, no solo necesito tu ayuda. Um, pero también um, dinero. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, so anyways. I need money. Huh? I need money. Yes, I need money. Okay, so uh, over here we have not only, right, the beginning. So we say not only, and then you say, for example, but what's interesting about this is because we're using not only, and not only is negative at the beginning, we have, we do an inversion, okay? An inversion is like in a form of a question. Remember with questions, we have to use an auxiliary at the beginning. We have auxiliary, subject, and then the verb, right? So the same thing happens here. Um, so you say, you would say, Not only do I need your help, right? Not only do I need your help, but also I need money, for example. Quarantine. Okay. So if you notice, they say, not only do I need your help, notice there is an inversion. Hay una, hay un, uh, estamos invirtiendo, right? Why? Because the first thing we have here is an auxiliary, do, right? Then we have the verb, the verb which is I, and then we have the subject. Sorry, the, 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 sorry, pardon. First I have auxiliary, then I have the subject, then I have the verb, okay? This case is need. Do you see that? We use auxiliaries, right? To make it inform. It's just like the same way that we make questions, okay? So there is a, an inversion. Does that make sense? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Anybody else wanna share? Do you, does this make sense to you? Or is it completely like, what is she talking about? Which is okay. Yes, so we understand. Clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Okay, so now that you've seen this, by the way, I don't expect you to memorize all of this. Don't, okay? Don't really memorize it. If you later on, you understand it better and you're like, oh yeah, this is easy, then you can try to memorize it, but it's not necessary. It's just like the most important ones, okay? So 
Do you remember this one? Uh, this was for homework. I hope everybody did it. You know, um, working parents join the assi assigned breakout room, write a 10 line paragraph about the advantages and disadvantages of implementing a focus group test um, a project, use the transitions of addition and the following advantages and disadvantages below. So this you did for homework. And what you're going to do is you're going to be working in pairs. You're going to compare your, your information to see if you have something similar. Does that make sense? Do we understand what to do? We have to discuss the, the paragraph. Yeah, exactly. The way you did for homework, I'd like you to share with your partner to see if you have some similar ideas or different ideas. Okay? Okay, teacher. Sounds good? Yes? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay. So I know one person from the whole group understands and it's clear. What about the others? And it's okay, you can tell me no or whatever, right? No? So it's clear? Yes? Okay. Well, I'm going to I'm going to interpret that silent as as a yes, that is clear. So I'm going to sign you right now in breakout rooms. And I'm gonna give you about eight minutes. Okay, so you're gonna be comparing your part, your, your paragraph and your partner's paragraph. All right. How many minutes? Eight. Eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's go. Let's open up the rooms. Okay. I think new, I think nine paragraph about. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Here's more advantage. Mm. Okay. Uh, mm. Okay. Focus group. Okay. Mm. For me, um, get get um, information. The opinion um, the, of people. The focus group. The, Hello, Miguel. You had a question. <laughs> Yes, teacher. Eh, eh, in the page, eh, no encontraba la página. Ah, but you did already. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Okay. We have to use 
I didn't teach words and the, about the advantage, advantage and disadvantage below. Disadvantage, not enough stereotype, stereotypes in the selected audience. Mm. Okay. Eh, Tenemos que seleccionar algún advantage, advantage and disadvantage about the in work. For example, in the number one art disadvantage, we have to write advantage, but uh, we have to use a different words. For example, not enough stereotypes in the selected audience is disadvantage. We have to write um, one advantage. For example, in this case, So, um, the advantage of heavy having a box is that okay, can you, that can, you, you can you can you read it? No. No. It's, it's an analysis. Yeah, the Hello Nelson, ¿qué pasó? No sé, creo que salió la compañera. Con, estaba estaba con, con eh, Suleima. No, no remember el nombre, pero era una. ¿Con Sul Suleima Melgar? No. No. ¿Estaba con ella? No. Vale, la voy a agregarle a, a su grupo porque tomo ella en, acaba de entrar, así que ahí termina ahí con ella. Okay. 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 Hello, teacher. Hello, Suleima. Hello. Sorry por entrar a esta hora, pero he tenido problemas de conexión. Esta es la tercera vez que intento. Okay, good. Lo, lo importante es que se conectó. Sí, uh, sorry. Hola, Nelson. We are. Hello. Over working with, uh, you're going to be working with Nelson and you're going to be comparing the information from the homework, the, the exercise that I left for homework. Do you remember? Okay. I'm going uh, to show you so that you can remember. You remember this? Okay. Vamos a... Eh, vamos a hacer como la desventaja dis de, de grupo focal y la ventaja. Eh, Hello. Okay. Um, el, el product. Um, el product is mm, not. Uh, 
No, pero solamente vamos a hacer lo que son, vamos a hablar de las ventajas de los grupos focales y las desventajas que tienen. Ah, ok, ok, sorry. Um, right. And this by, um, um, como podemos decir? In the disadvantage of the, the group focus, focus, uh, yes, side, 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 Focus, we put noise, the profile. Ajá. Eh, según entendí este. Eh, eh. Ajá. Parte del. Del lenguaje. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hello, Carolina. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, más o menos. Más o menos. Sí, un poco mejor que ayer, pero todavía. Pero todavía, eh, ¿verdad? Sí, con el dolor y dolor de cabeza todavía. Mm, okay. uh -huh. Pero mañana voy a tener la, la cita. La conferencia con los médicos a ver qué pasa. Uh -huh. Ok. Espero que todo le vaya bien. Gracias, Tichi. Gracias por conectarse. Gracias a usted. Uh, veamos. Mm. Oh. Sería mi for the same for the same same exam. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so then, oh, there. Uh -oh. Norma, eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia de ventaja? This, this event, oh, this the teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo se pronuncia de ventajas? Can you ask me in English? English. <laughs> this event, vintage. No. No, no. You can you can ask me in English. You can just say. Ah. How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce the ventaja? In English. In English. Mm -hmm. You say disadvantages. This disadvantages. Disadvantages. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. This pen. Ah, yes. Qué horrible. Uh -huh. Ok. Un otro. No considerado. No sé si puedo como... Um, Different opinions uh -huh. uh, or more characteristics, different uh -huh. opinion, more. more uh, advantage? No. More brains or? Uh -huh. 
Okay, it proves um, more, more over, more over. Hello. Hello, teacher. Are we, are we finished or qué pasó? No, one moment. You're not finished? No. Okay, es que están calladitos. Yes, pero es análisis. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's perfect. They're writing. Okay, sounds good. All right. Um, how much more time do you need? Maybe two minutes. Okay. All right. Okay. Chicos, ¿cuándo se enciendan su camerita? Yes, teacher. One moment, please. Estoy cenando, pero ya la enciendo. Okay. In addition, in addition, we need I know four more. Some of the disadvantage to implementing group food focus group test are not enough in certain audience. Far hmm. more. In addition, <clears throat> in, uh, in addition, además, and the other one. Moreover, moreover, more. it's mass, it's mass, you will get further more. Mm -hmm. And the other one, yeah. Uh, Personalization for more and besides, besides in the math and yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's enough. Besides, además. See, yes. So. ¿Cuál? Which, ¿Cuál utilizamos para unir este párrafo entonces? Eh, no utilicemos for more. For more, maybe for more hour. Have debería de ir a, al inicio de un párrafo entonces. Yes, for more, yes. En addition, in the middle of the paragraph. So, in the middle, in the middle, for in addition, uh, ah, could be in addition. Además, tal, tal cosa y tal cosa. Era. Some of the disadvantage, disadvantage of implementing a focus group 
test uh, are are not enough in select audience. It's not enough stereotypes in the select audience. Además, eh, in addition, tal cosa y tal cosa, continuamos con la otra. In addition, not considering that the participants are part of the target language. That's a participant. are part of language. And besides, the other months. Yes. In the same things. I will work in addition. We need this class. Okay. Read me the paragraph. <laughs> okay. Wait. 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 Tava. Practically, well, son of the disadvantage. Son of the disadvantage of implementing a group test. Implementing a focus group test, a product are not enough, are not enough in select, okay, let me see. are not enough stereotypes in the select outing. In addition, not considering that the participants are part of the target language, Mm -hmm. And besides, dominant personality within the group. <laughs> Solo hemos ido agregando los con esas palabritas nada más. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, co yeah. ¿Cómo lo tiene usted? I think it's the better option. Uh -huh. Yes, I think it's correct. But uh, it's complicated. Um, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Uh, I'm confused. I I read the, the material, <laughs> uh, but I confused in the how to use this concept and. I I didn't I didn't for I forgot to to do to to do the homework. Okay. <laughs> to, yeah. Yeah. okay, thank you for being honest. No, I it, it, I think uh, and I maybe I take a capture in this in in when the. I sleep and to, yeah, I don't, I don't. In tomorrow in the morning, I I didn't uh, check out my phone <laughs> and <laughs> I forgot. Okay, but I confused a little bit about the concept 
the, the, the how to use some words. Some words. You're confused on how to use some words. Yes. And I think it's for, uh, furthermore and addition is similar. Okay, but how to use in addition in this case, we use uh, in addition uh, after a uh, question and you use for more how to start a sentence, uh, start a paragraph. No, you can use it both, uh, they're the same. Don't worry, no. No, doesn't matter. Okay, in my hour? Moreover. Yeah. Uh -huh, moreover. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same. What is the uh, the uh, uh, I and I confuse that too with and yeah okay but, but you use comma right for uh, okay, hay que uh, en español hay que usar ciertas veces comas antes o después cuando quiero utilizar alguna de las dos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, Marawar utilizo punto com. Okay, okay, so if you put right. the, the, the transition at the beginning, you will have to put the comma after the transition. Okay. If you put the transition at the end, you'll have to put the comma before. Okay, but in this case, in this case, in, in example that you you show you show yesterday is more hour is about point half comma and more hour comma after. Yeah, but that was just an example. Like I mean, you can change it. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's, I think it's I, a little bit confused. Yeah, but it's not like there's nothing special about one or the other. Okay. I uh, furthermore, I can I uh, can I use in middle of the paragraph, for example. Yeah, you could also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Um, I have, furthermore, uh, learned another language. Okay. Yeah, you could. Yes. Separated by comma. Uh, after. Oh, separated by commas. That's right. I didn't tell, I didn't talk about putting it in the middle because it's a little complicated. I didn't want to make it more complicated for you guys. But yes, you can put in the middle as long as you separate it between two commas. And normally the position goes between the auxiliary and the verb. Can you repeat this? <laughs> this. Okay. I didn't talk about putting it in the middle because I don't want to confuse you. But since you've already talked about it, yes, it is possible to put it in the middle. But if you put it in the middle, two things. One, you have to separate it with commas. Comma before, comma after. Okay. Okay, so it would be like, for example, it would be comma, furthermore, comma. Okay. Okay. Second thing is that the position you put it in is if there, if there is the auxiliary and the verb, you put it in between the auxiliary and the verb. So you would say, for example, I have furthermore studied a lot. Okay. I have, so instead of saying I have studied, you put in between have and studied. So you say, yeah. I have comma, furthermore comma, studied a lot. Okay. Okay? Same. Yeah. All right. And this time I will try to. Okay. 
Okay. Order more, not doing no focus group. In anterior, para ocupar. Order more, not do. And no. Okay. Only that. I think. Mm -hmm. En esta audiencia presentaron las pruebas documentales y también suficientes al presupuesto y podría dictaminar una cocina a los imputados que van de los 15 a los 20 años por la Do that normal. Okay. Use that normal. Solo eso. Yes. Okay. Okay. I... Okay, class, um, I have to take attendance. So that's why I brought everybody back because we're way past our time. So we have Christina. Christina? No. Christina? I can see she's connected, but Christina? Present it. Okay, great, excellent. Welcome. Uh, Ani? Present teacher. Welcome. Mari? Present. Excellent. Carolina? Present. Welcome. Cristina? Christy, Christy. Christy? No. Uh, Jorge? 
Jorge? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Karen? Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Karina? Present. Excellent. Leonardo? Present teacher. Great, Linda? Present teacher. Excellent, welcome. Marlene? I'm here. Excellent, welcome Marlene. Miguel? Present. Welcome, Miguel. Nelson G. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Nelson, a. Nelson A. Norma. Present teacher. Great. Olga. Present teacher. Great. Omar. Present. Great. Uh, Suleima Rodriguez. Suleyma Rodriguez? Not here. Suleyma Melgar? Present teacher. Okay, and Tatiana? Tatiana? Hmm. Tatiana? I can see that she's there, but maybe something happened. Okay, all right, guys. Um, okay. I had originally told you guys that I was gonna give you eight minutes because you were just supposed to compare. But then I realized that you guys didn't do the homework. So. Mm -hmm. uh, why, why do you think that teacher? Oh, I don't know. I just, you know, can't. <laughs> I'm using my, my, my mental powers. <laughs> oh. um, yes. Um, so I- oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Um, okay, but I understand because I didn't, I didn't um, remind you guys about it in the group, which I was expect, I was hoping to do, but I forgot. So, um, uh, I said he can uh, the the mute. I don't know why. No, pero ya puede. Lo que pasa es que cuando se me estaba, cuando me estaba llamando no me dejaba quitarlo. Ah, okay, okay. Maybe it was your, your cell phone and that was before, or your... <laughs> it happens. Okay. Okay. All right. But I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> All right. Great. Excellent. Um, okay. Yeah. So um, since I noticed you guys hadn't done the homework, then I gave you guys a little bit more time. How are we doing now? Do we understand the homework better? Is it pretty clear now? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes? Okay. All right, in that case, uh, we are gonna continue. I'm going to show you my PowerPoint. Okay, yes. all right, so what we're gonna do here with we're gonna be working with this vocabulary. We have four words, targeted sample, random sample, competitive threat, and unbiased. Some of these words you probably already know, other words you probably have heard of, but you're not sure about. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to get you to work in groups, small groups, and you're going to find out the meaning of these words. Okay, and you can write them if you have it, your book in, you know, your physical book, you can write it in the physical book or you can write it in the digital book. But what I do not want you to do is just simply look at your partner writing the information, like somebody sharing the, the screen and then you're just looking at the person writing. No, I want you to literally write yourself the, the, the meaning of the, or the definition of those words, okay? Así que no, no quiero que usted solamente se quede mirando a su compañero como escribe. You have to do it yourself because if we don't do it, we don't learn, okay? We literally have to do it ourselves to be able to register it in our mind, okay? 
Is that clear for everybody? That's clear. To the four. Hmm? The four words. The four words, yes. Okay, I'm gonna give, I'm going to get you to work in small groups. Okay. Okay, small breakout rooms. I'm gonna make. Okay, and I'll give you some time to look for those words. Okay. Um, Teacher, uh, we 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 can put the the definition of each word. Yeah. Yeah, that's the idea, to put the definition of each word. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Sounds good? Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're going to have to investigate a dictionary on the internet, wherever you want. You can ask somebody, whatever. But you're going to have to do all four of them. Okay. So I'm going to give you about 12 minutes. Okay. So here we go. Cristina? For what? For each word, we have to investigate the um, concept or definition of the each um, okay. testing. Uh, I'm looking in the internet. Yeah. It? Yes. Yeah. Tar targeted sample. Targeted sample. Which page? Which page in the book is? Uh, in the manual is the number 23. Oh my gosh, 23. Okay. Okay, I found it. An example, Miss. And... Hi. Targeted sample means I find the concept of official sample. Targeted sample. It's an official sample which is taken with the aim of detecting an illegal treatment for a non compliance with the maximum result limits or maximum levels establishing under union legislation uh, I can share my my screen and we can we can write the okay. I found that target target man sample means an official official sample which is take taken with with the aim aim of detecting an illegal treatment or a non complaints with the maximum residue limit 
or maximum levels yes, establish it's, it's, um, it's the same it's the same oh, okay nice the the other partners what's your opinion i find the concept the same tar targeted affluent samples can be combined with other demographic variables. Demographic? Mm -hmm. um, it's okay, but I, I can share my picture to, to show the one presentation that uh, dice el anfitrión inhabilitó la función de compartir la pantalla de los participantes. La <laughs> yes, teacher, you can't. <laughs> yes, the teacher has hearing. <laughs> okay, teacher, but, who you? <laughs> okay, but the the next. Uh, word okay. is random sample. Okay. Random sample means random. Uh, ah, perdón, chico. Eh. Lo que estaban leyendo es lo de la definición de target sample. Yes, it is. Yes. yes. Mm, ok. In the same form, there are the definition and the internet. It's a sub, subset of a statistical population in which each member of the subset has an equal probability of being chosen. A simple random sample is meant to be an unbiased representation of a group. Okay, I found that is a part of the sampling technique in which each sample has an equal probability of being chosen. A sample shows randomly is meant to be an invasive presentation of the total population. Okay. What's the same? Okay. What's the same or different? It's different. Okay. Okay. Bye. I found the concept. A random sample is a sample that is chosen randomly. It could be more accurately called a randomly chosen sample. Random sample. Y dice que no ha ocurrido, pero tiene la el it, it. ajá, it when... has the potential to occur, tiene potencial, puede ocurrir. Ajá, uh -huh. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, it, mm -hmm. it, it, yeah, <laughs> in this, yeah. Uh, the next is on on the on the, I don't know what is this on 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 the bias and bias and bias and bias. Is free from bias, especially free from all 
prejudice, prejudice, and favoritism. Eminently fire and, and bias option. And the other yeah. definition is having an infected value equal to a population parameter being being estimated and bias estimated of the population. Um, it's como después uh, after that the competitive trial or uh, um, or to population. Uy, si oís pre. Oh. Es imparcial. En sí, la palabra the meaning is imparcial. Yeah, the, uh -huh, the translate the English and Spanish is imparcial. No muestra prejuicios. Showing not press a favor o en contra de algo. Mm -hmm. Es algo neutral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No es ni de uno ni de otro. <laughs> ni de otro. <laughs> yes. Entonces es, es, se viene arrastrando de lo que estábamos tocando anteriormente. Porque... Um, En, en las eh, lo que mostrábamos en las ventajas y desventajas se mostraba eso en los grupos focalizados se mostraba sí. que una de las desventajas era que al tener un grupo grande pues la ventaja era que tenía diferentes opiniones uh -huh. y la desventaja es que no yeah, it, uh, for the forest state um, about the... Ah, y otra de las ventajas, por cierto, era eso, que al tener este bastante o, o, muchas opiniones, eh, podías tener opiniones imparciales, o sea, no... Uh -huh. Keep it in English so that we can practice more English. Yes, so so. <laughs> you can do it, Omar. Yes, we can. I know we can. <laughs> So, the <laughs> are you guys almost finished? Yeah, finished. Huh? How much more time yes. do you need? Mm, maybe one or two minutes. One or two minutes? Okay. Yeah, so only for practice. Okay, sounds good. Okay. So, Omar? Uh, well, uh huh. Has or has que? Has or has que? Okay. Eh, o sea, ¿cómo lo, ¿cómo lo.? Porque ask sería como un pedido, que es lo que pedimos. Mm. Nosotros pedimos. O sea, no has, ask que sería, no has, porque has es tener, hacer. Ah, ok. Entonces ¿verdad? sería con ING, ¿va? No. A-S-K-E-D. A-S-K-E-D. Ah, ok, ok. We have to ask a random sample of uh -huh. selection people. Ajá, uh -huh. people. People. What With they the, the product or what server? They think, uh, what they think of product or server? Okay. Are you what guys they, almost finished? Not Why teacher. No. 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 Two, How much time do you need? Uh, almost. Almost two. 
to work. No, sí. Yes, to work, to teacher. Work. To, to, to what? To, to work. Dos palabras. To oh, you still, you still need to find the meaning for two words. Ah, yes. Okay, how much time okay. do you need, though? How much time? Uh, mm. Five. Five, five minutes. minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay. We ask a random sample what they think on the product or service. How much time do we need, class? Or, or are we finished? We're finished. We're finished. You're finished. Okay, wonderful. All right. I'm going to go and ask the other groups. Okay. Okay, one could be. Mm -hmm. But are we finished, girls, or do you need more time? More time, teacher. How much more time? I don't know. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yes. Okay. Five minutes it is then. Teacher, we are only going to write a sentence for each K term or no, definition. Oh, definition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so we need to, to research. Bueno. <laughs> Yes. That's not a bad thing. It's good. Mm. That involves the division of session into smart groups known as. Mm. Random sample. Um, in 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 targeted sample, I have is a specific kind of market research sample. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And in the sample, in the in the random sample, I think could be a tech. I don't know how. A method. I'm going to say a method because I don't know how to say tech technique technique. I don't know. And um, it's a method in which each sample has an equal probably probably of being chosen. Competitive drink is a competition. Teacher, where is the pronunciation of the word I I I write in the in the chat? Um, technique. Technique. Yes, okay. technique. Thanks. Gracias. 
Mm. Norma, what, what do you say about the competitive treat? It's a competitive treat, it's a competition uh, that hasn't occurred, but has potential to occur in the other world. It is a risk of competition. As with any case, a competitive treat has a probably an impact Maybe to wait. Yeah. You are straight. I don't know. Uh, uh, amenaza. <laughs> wait, uh, amenaza. I forgot that. Okay. And it has an occur, but has potential to occur. It's a high risk of competition, as with any risk, competitive threat has a probably an impact and may be treated. The following are the in fact, um, can be Vale. Es un riesgo de competencia como todo riesgo, una amenaza competitiva. Tiene una probabilidad e impacto y puede ser tratada. Ajá. Tiene una probabilidad de impacto y puede ser. Ok. Eso es. Uh, and the next is a uh, uh, beside. Beside, it's in beside. Imparcial. Beside is a. Copy. Orita. Imparcial. Ah, está bueno. No mostrar prejuicios a favor o en contra de algo. Showing yes. No yes. Pre... Alguien por ser. Showing. Pressure, vamos a ver, Google, pressure. Okay. So many things. Pero ¿cómo se dice en pressure? En 10, en 10, en 10. Showing no prejudice for or against something impartial. <laughs> Uh, I'm biased. I am 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 Unbiased. 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 Unbi
Okay. Ese vamos a buscar el significado. Showing no prejudice. No sé si es, así se pronuncia. Prejuicios. Prejudices. 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 No. Prejudice. 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 On biases is a jury with no prior knowledge on the case upon which they So let's check the answers. See what you guys have. Okay, I'm going to uh, get volunteers to help me with this. Okay. Okay, so who would like to talk um, to give me a definition for a targeted sample? Targeted sample. You teach. Okay, go for it, Miguel. Uh, and we understand in the group uh, the targeted sample uh, with the product of uh, mm, in. Sorry. The target sample, the product in launch in the market. The product launched into the market. Yes, please. Is that correct? Is that what you have? Yeah? Yes. Um, okay. All right. Do you guys agree? Gus, do does everybody agree? Uh huh. The product launch into the market. Uh, uh, teacher, I think is uh, a sample who which is directed to to the pool. 
who can buy some some product. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Karen. For a, for us, directed at a particular group or activity, targeted advertising or marketing. Um. Sorry, could you repeat that again? Directed at a particular group or activity. Targeted advertising or marketing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, hold on, give me a moment. Um, so here, do you remember that? Okay, um, I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. I'm going to show you something from yesterday's class. You guys remember this. Give me a moment while we all wait for this thing to open up. Okay, um, let's see. If, okay, I'm going to show you something from last class. This was the conversation that we saw last class. Do you guys remember this conversation? I remember. Yeah? You remember? Yes. Okay. Yes, so notice what Moises says. It says, will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Um, furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. Okay, so notice we're talking about random samples and targeted samples. So. What um, what is it, what did we say was the difference between targeted and random samples? Teacher, uh -huh. when you say a targeted sample, you are talking about a, something specific, and when you say random, it, it can be no nor something specific, just maybe uh, I don't know how to say this, but can be, can be for everybody. it can be in anyone or anybody. Or exactly. So that's what we're talking about. Targeted samples are people that we choose to be in our study group because we want those particular people for whatever mm -hmm. reason, right? Because uh, your, your product is only for men. So you're obviously going to be, and you're going to just choose men. men, right? You're not gonna be choosing, you know, women because like to give you an example, if they're going, if you're going to be um, testing a, I don't know, an aftershave, aftershave you know the like the lotion right for after you shave that's not that's that has nothing to do with women so we're not going to worry about interviewing women we don't want them we want men right or if it's for example we're talking about like our product is pampers or a better said diapers um we're going to be their tar our targeted sample is going to be are going to be babies right 
and toddlers. We don't want children, we, want, we don't want adolescents, we want babies and toddlers, okay, and so on, okay? So that's a target sample. And what's a random sample then? For example, when you want people uh, have the opinion of food, for example, anybody can talk about food. Right, exactly. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's like, um, so basically a target sample, how can we put the definition then? It's a directed sample. Um, directed. Okay. Or a specific. For a, a specific group. A specific group or activity. Of people chosen to be part of the testing sample. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense for everybody? Refer product. Sorry? Refer product. Refill product. Refer product. Refer. Refer. Refer product. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, now let's go for the other one. What's a random sample? Is the opposite of target sample. Right. So what's the definition? It's a non-specific group of people just Okay, good, a non-specific group of people chosen to participate in the testing sample, okay? So far, so good. Does that make sense? Yeah? Yes, that makes sense. Yes, teacher. OK, good. Let's talk about competitive threat now. It's competitive threat. <laughs> Anybody? Is the risk or risk to have competition? The risk? To have competition. competition. It's not a risk itself. It's... Um, Increasing? It's is a comp is a competition that hasn't occurred, but has potential to occur. Okay. Sure. Uh -huh. Competition that hasn't occurred. Comp comp hold on. Competition for your product. that hasn't happened yet but has the
the potential to um, um, to um, put okay. your product at risk. Uh, the the definition continue continue with in other words it's a it is a risk of, of competition mm -hmm. exactly very good okay all right and the last one unbiased biased i have it's not affected or influenced by someone beliefs or opinions not affected or influenced by someone's beliefs or opinion Good. Okay. So basically everybody in the world has beliefs and opinions, right? Everybody, we all have them, but sometimes those beliefs and opinions are, um, they're based on what we already know, right? Where our, our beliefs or opinions from before. So you don't go into something or you don't judge something open-mindedly instead you have you you judge them based on what you previously believe or your opinions from before okay yeah kind of like just imagine um um you know maybe i i have a certain opinion about certain uh different people from different countries but if I don't know what country they come from, I won't have that. I'm not going to be influenced by my opinion of those people, right? Because I, I won't know where they're from, so I don't have. I can put away those beliefs and opinions aside. That's being unbiased, yeah. Without, without prejudging someone. Okay. Okay, guys. So then we're gonna stop there. And we're gonna quickly do our our um, attendance, okay? Um, so just open up your microphone um, as soon as you hear my, um, you know, what, when I'm close to your name, and that way we can do this as quickly as possible, okay? All right. So, Cristina. Present teacher. Uh, Ani? Present teacher. Okay, good. Um, Mari? Present. Okay, good. Uh, Christy? Christy? No. Um, Jorge? Carolina, falte yo, teacher. I am sorry. Sorry, Carolina. <laughs> Okay. Present. Good, good, excellent. Jorge? Present teacher. Karen? Present teacher. Karina? Present. Leonardo? Present teacher. Linda? Present teacher. Marlene? Present. Very good. Uh, Miguel? Present. Por cierto, le toca ahora Miguel. And Nelson? G? Present. Nelson A. Present. Good. Nelson A. No. Norma. Present teacher. Olga. Present. Omar. Present. Eh, Suleima Rodriguez. Suleima Rodriguez. Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Y Tatiana. Present. Okay, very good. Okay, chicos, um, so that will be it. I will see you tomorrow. Take care. 
And don't forget, work in the platform. So advance little by little, especially like in the midterm and the final exam, so that you don't have to worry about that later. Okay. So that's it, guys. Take care. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.